Hello folks, so in this video I'm going to continue working on Space Invaders in Pygame. I'll run the code from last time just to show you how far I got. So you can see I've got my aliens in the spaceship and what I added in the last video was all these little explosion animations. So when I hit the aliens they explode and then when the alien bullets hit my spaceship that also gives off a small explosion. But the game is a little bit bland I think without sound effects. So that's what I'm going to work on in this video. So the first thing to do is add another import up here. So I'm from Pygame, import mixer. And the mixer is what I'm going to be using for sound effects. So I'll come up here and I'll say mixer.init to initialize it. But I also need to add a pre-initialization. And at this point, I set a few variables or a few conditions for the mixer. So I'll just type this out. It's going to be a pre-init. And these numbers, I believe, are all pretty much the default, with the exception of the last one. This is the default in the new version of Pygame, but when, at the time when I'm recording that video, or this video, uh, that has not been fully released. So I've had to add this line and change this variable to make my sound effects work properly. Without this, they, uh, they were a bit delayed for some reason. And so with this now uh, defined at the start, I can load in all of my sound effects. So I'll just come down here where I've got my game window created and I'll say load load sounds. And I'm going to have three different sound effects. So I'll have two for the two different types of explosion and then I'll have the laser sound. So I'm just going to add them in here and create them as variables. So explosion fx equals and then I use pygame.mixer.sound and this function loads in the uh, the sound that you want. So mine, everything, uh, I know it's not an image, but everything I've got, I've just stored in an image folder. So this one is explosion.wav. And I did notice that these explosions were very loud. So uh, the first thing I want to do is set volume. And I'm going to turn these down to a quarter of their original value. So that's the first one loaded, and the second one, and the third. So let's just update these variables. So it's going to be explosion2, and the name of it is explosion2. And the last one is laser effects. So let's type that one out and change the volume for that as well. And then just change the file name. Okay, so that's all my sounds loaded in. Uh, I'll just run the game, make sure they're all in the right place. And oh, I made a typo. Try again. Yeah, okay, so it, it must have loaded them successfully, so that's fine. So now adding these sound effects in is very straightforward. You just call out the function to play the sound effect whenever you need it. So the first one I want is when one of my bullets hits the aliens. So I've got when I've got a collision, I've got this self.kill, then I've got the explosion animation. So let's just add, before the animation, I'll just add an extra line here. Explosion underscore fx dot play. So, if I've done this correctly, let me just try this out. There we go. And now let's play the sound every time we hit these guys. So that's one added in. Uh, the next one that I want is that laser sound. So I've got my spaceship here, and within my update, uh, where is my shot? So here. So where I've got my space bar is where I fire a laser. So let's play the laser sound effect. Laser underscore fx dot play. So I'll try that now. So now I've got a little bit more. And so the last one that I wanted to add was on the alien bullets. Uh, so I'll come into... no, it's down here. Alien bullets. So uh, after it collides, let's just say explosion 2 fx dot play. And this one, I think, is a little bit more muted. I didn't want them all to sound the same, so... Yeah, it's just a slightly different sound effect. Just to change the game and that's it. That's how you sound, uh, add sound effects. It's as easy as that. So if you found this video useful, then please do leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with these tutorials, then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.